In this video, I'm going to write some code to make the students disappear when we're in the list view and have the attendance list show up, and then have the attendance list disappear and the students show up when we are in the attendance view. Now that we've basically completed the functionality of having a user being able to click on a student sprite to mark them absent or present, and then displaying that in the attendance list, I want to go back and make sure that I only show the students when we're in the taking attendance view, and I only show the list when we're in the list view. So I'm going to control all of that in this first sprite named Sprite 1, which is the button that you see on screen right now in the middle of the stage. And when we start the project, I want to make sure that everything is hidden. Actually, right now, everything's showing. So I'm going to go over to my variables palette, and I'm going to uncheck all of these variables, as well as the attendance list. And what I want happening is when the user clicks on list view, I want to show the attendance list. So I'm going to scroll down in the variables palette, and I want to make sure that I show the list when we see the list view button available. So I'm going to put that over here, and that only happens, and that's only true when we're in the take attendance view which is what we're in right now. And I could show you that by going over to the current view and just displaying that for a split second. We could see that it's currently in take attendance view. But if I click on the sprite, if I click on this box, it should show the attendance list. And that's exactly what happens. But you'll also notice that we still see all of the students. But we'll worry about hiding them in a little bit. Next, when I go back to the attendance view, I want to make sure that I hide the list. And I want to hide the list when we go back to the attendance view, which should only show the students. So if I click list view again, we should see the attendance list. And if I click attendance view, the list disappears. I'm going to do that one more time just to test it out. And it looks like it's working. I also want to make sure that I handle the case when the green flag is clicked. So just at the start of the project, if for some reason the attendance view is showing, I want to make sure I hide that list, and this will prevent bugs in the future. Next, I want to hide my students when we go into list view. So what I can do is I can detect, let's say in Abby, I can detect when we switch the backdrop to the pink color. So let's go over to the events palette, and when the backdrop switches to the list view, I can have this character hide. So let me just get Abby working first. I could hide her when we're in list view, and I just got to make sure that when we do start the project, we show her. So I'm just going to add the show block when the green flag is clicked. Let's test this out by clicking on the green flag. We see Abby's there. We're not showing the list. But when I click on list view, Abby should disappear, and she does. Um, when we go back to attendance view, she is still not there. So we have to make sure that when we switch back, when the backdrop switches back to the attendance view, take attendance view, we show her again. So let me run this again to test it out. We click on the green flag, Abby shows up. We can mark her absent or present, but when we go to list view, she disappears. When we go back to attendance view, she reappears. And because we have to write the same code for the other two student sprites, I'm just gonna click and drag this script and hover it over the sprite that I wanna add it to. I'm gonna do the same thing to take attendance view and that should almost do it. I just got to make sure that my characters are showing when we, uh, when we first start the project. So let's make sure we add a show block to the beginning. And it is getting a little bit messy because when it copies the sprites or the script over, it just puts it like on top of whatever is there. I'm going to click on the green flag to see it in action. We see all the student sprites there. When I click on list view, they all disappear and we have our attendance list showing, which is exactly what I want. If I click on attendance view, that list disappears and we have our students back in action. One last time, I'm going to click the list view and it looks like it's working the way that we want. So that's going to do it for this project. I actually do want to mention something that I saw today when I was working with some teachers. Someone made a very similar attendance app, but instead of showing student sprites, they had the students' names on the stage. And then when you start taking attendance, there was a countdown. There was a timer that only gave the teacher 25 seconds to mark the students present or absent. And as soon as the 25 seconds was up, the backdrop changed and the teacher could see who was absent. And there we go. We are done with the attendance app.